An Army veteran is on trial this morning in Ohio. The defendant is charged with running a phony Navy charity. Prosecutors claim he collected more than $100 million from donors across the country. As Michelle Miller reports, this case could reach all the way into Washington's halls of power. He went by the name Bobby Thompson, someone with connections to the rich and powerful who could be counted on to make hefty donations to the political elite. But according to federal and Ohio investigators, that money was acquired fraudulently from people in 41 states who thought they were giving money to a group Thompson started to help disabled and needy war veterans. Thompson's attorney says the group was not a charity and never claimed to be. These individuals who donated money donated the money knowing that the money would go to lobbying efforts. There's no deception there. Thompson was arrested last year at this house in Portland, Oregon, after a two-year federal manhunt. Once in custody, the case against Thompson took a strange twist. He began signing documents, Mr. X, with no explanation. In an effort to figure out why, U.S. Marshals turned to Google. They found an FBI wanted poster for John Donald Cody, a Harvard-educated lawyer suspected of a state fraud. Cody mysteriously disappeared in 1984. Both men had similar pompadour hairstyles and relied heavily on eye drops. It said that he had no uh, tear ducts, that he had to use eye drops all the time. So in my world, in our world, one and one equals two. Authorities said a fingerprint match confirmed their suspicions. Bobby Thompson was John Donald Cody, but even that is disputed by his lawyer. I, I can actually tell you with all honesty, his name is Bobby Charles Thompson as of today. This strange case doesn't end there. Thompson, a former military intelligence officer, says he was working undercover for a government program to create nonprofit groups furthering U.S. interests. I don't believe he was actually on the run at all. I think he was going from one job to the next. And when I say job, I don't mean that in a criminal sense. Thompson faces numerous charges of theft, money laundering, and identity fraud in Ohio. His trial is expected to last six weeks. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, New York. With that kind of money, you question where it went and who might be identified. Well, sure, and of course, people think they're donating to Navy veterans and to our soldiers, and here they're being scammed. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be following that story.